Hello friends, welcome to Rajesh Data Engineering. In this video, I am going to explain how to insert data into delta table. Insert is one of the basic and also widely used DML operation in any data warehousing solution. Let's get started with the demo. I have logged into my Databricks environment. I have created the notebook and also attached the active cluster into the notebook. So the first step, I am going to create delta table. So for that, I'm going to use PySpark programming. So I'm creating a table name, employee demo, which is, uh, which is uh, containing five columns, employee ID, employee name, gender, salary, department. And this is uh, getting created at the location, file store, tables, delta, and path employee demo. This is the file location. So let me execute this step. So it will create the delta table, which will be used for our demo. Table creation is successful. Now, in this tutorial, we are going to see how to insert the data into this table. So this is empty table. So let me query, query this table first. We don't have uh, any data because this is the brand new table we just created, but we haven't inserted any data. So there are many ways to insert the data into delta table. So we are going to see few methods in this tutorial. So the first method is SQL, SQL style insert. This is nothing but a database insert command. In any database, in order to insert the data into table, we are following this syntax. This is exactly similar syntax we are going to use. So here insert into, then we have to give the delta table name. Then after that, if you have to insert a uh, insert uh, values to all the columns then we don't need to mention the column names that is optional but after that we have to give values then list of the values now the values for corresponding columns so here we are having five columns so i am supplying values for all the columns so let me execute this one this is one of the basic uh, insert command used in any database let me execute this one execution is successful it has inserted one rows one Okay, now let me uh, query the table once again. So earlier I used SQL style to query the data, but this time I'm using Spark SQL method. So I'm you know I'm uh, using Spark SQL. Within that we can give the SQL query. Then finally I'm displaying. Both are uh, both are actually same. Let me execute this step. So we have inserted only one record, which we can see in the output. Okay, this is one of the method. Going to the next method, data frame insert. This is very commonly used method in Databricks development because in any Databricks development, mostly we are creating data frame. Data frame is one of the API. So in the data frame, will data frame is equivalent of relational uh, database table. So it will contain uh, number of records. So if you want to insert the records based on the data frame, then we can follow this method. So for this uh, uh, this exercise, now first I'm going to create one data frame. In this data frame, I'm going to give uh, the data, this is the data, and it's going to be same schema structure, same as our delta table. So I'm defining the schema, then by combining the data and schema, I'm creating the data frame DF. So let me execute, this will create the data frame DF and it will display finally. So data frame df got created. Now I want to insert this data frame into delta table. Then how, ca how can we do? So for that we can use data frame reader. That is nothing but df dot write. Then we have to give the format. We are going to insert into delta table. So format should be delta. And he here uh, save as table. Uh, this is the keyword within that we have to give the delta table to which we want to insert the data. Then coming to this part, this is tricky mode append. So there are, uh, you know, there are uh, modes like append and overwrite. In the append mode, we want to insert this, uh, this data. At the same time, we want to retain the previously available data in the, in the uh, table. So we can go with append. If you are going to use overwrite, then the process will truncate the data from the delta table, which means whatever we have inserted earlier, that is employee ID 100, this particular record will be removed. So entire table will be truncated. On top of that, the new records from the data frame would be inserted into delta table. So here uh, we are planning to insert the data. So that's the reason I'm going with append mode. So it will retain 
employee id 100 on top of that it will insert another record where employee id equal to 200 so let me execute this step so the execution is successful let me uh, check the table once again let me query the table now we can see there are two records got inserted into the table so now I am going to explain the third method. Again, this is using data frame, but using different syntax. This is uh, called data frame insert into method. So here we are going to use data frame. Then write instead of you know format or save as table, we are going to give insert into. This is the syntax. This is the difference. So in this method also, I am creating uh, one data frame. This is for different employee 300 Lara. So this data frame is called DF1. Let me execute. It will create DF1 and it will display for our re reference. So another data frame got created. Now I want to write this data frame into our delta table using insert into syntax. So for that also we are using data frame writer, data frame dot write. Then we have to use the keyword insert into. Within that we have to give the delta table name. In this exercise we are going to insert into employee demo. Then the next parameter overwrite we have to mention we have to overwrite overwrite true means it will truncate the existing data on top of that it will insert only the data from the data frame but when we are giving overwrite equal to false which means it will retain the old old records which means in this table already we are having two records employee id equal to 100 employee id equal to 200 we are having two records both would be retained on top of that this third record employee id equal to 300 it would be inserted so let me execute this step great the execution is successful now let me quickly check the table let me query the table See here, there are three records got inserted into the table and we have followed three different approaches. Now I am going to show you the fourth method. So again, let's say you are having a data frame. So you have to insert the data from the data frame to delta table. So the other method is temp view. First we can convert the data frame as a temp view. Then uh, after that we can use direct SQL command to insert the data based on the temp view. So this is the syntax to convert the data frame into temp view. So data frame name, then create or replace temp view. Within, within that we have to give a view for the temp view. So here I'm giving delta data. So let me execute this one. The execution is successful. Now delta data view got created. Let me query this one. So earlier in our DF1, now we have created uh, 300 employee ID 300. So same, uh, same uh, is associated with this uh, temp view. So now this data frame is converted as a temp view. Now we can uh, insert the content of the temp uh, view into the main table. So for that we can use a standard database command that is insert into. We have to give the delta table name. Then select star from the delta uh, temp view, delta data. So here we are not uh, passing the values for all the columns one by one using values instead of that. Whatever the in this example we are having only one column, one, sorry one record, but real time we might have thousands or millions or billions of records. So everything would be inserted into employee demo delta table. So this is another method. So let me execute this step. So basically it will execute, it will insert employee ID 300 one more time. So basically we will have two times this employee ID equal to 300. It will be there for two times. Let me query the table. Here you can see. You know? So we have inserted four records and we have followed four different approaches. And the last one final method is Spark SQL insert. So in this method I'm going to use Spark SQL. So it starts with Spark.SQL and within the bracket we can give the SQL command so for example you know here we have created uh, temp view so we are inserting the data into delta table based on the temp view this is one of the SQL DML command so the same DML command we can pass in this spark SQL so the same command I have written here so using this method also we can insert the data so let me execute this is going to insert uh, 300 and you know, this employee 300 once again so basically we will have three we will have uh, this record three times 
so the execution is successful let me query the data so here you know we have inserted five records into the delta table and we have followed five different approaches so these are the different ways to insert uh, uh, data into delta table in databricks development i hope you understood hope you enjoyed this video if you like the content of this video please like and comment in youtube channel please subscribe this channel and don't forget to click on the bell button thank you